welcome to my new channel it's called epic discovery um, some discoveries will be quite epic hopefully and uh, others won't be quite as epic as we'd like to uh, think anyway let's get to it basically um, today's video is showing what you'd need for basic uh, river magnet fishing um, I've got quite a large magnet here it's 125 millimeters in diameter and as you can see we've uh, christened it as you could imagine and um, what we've got is we've got some uh, nylon rope and what we've done is we've doubled it up from one point to the other so we have a loop at the very end of it here and this basically enables you to have significantly more strength than you would if you were only using one single rope on its own if you like now let's get to the business end what I've done here is I've got a, a grinder um, I'm pretty blessed really because this is a cordless one and uh, we haven't got leads all over the garden however what we have um, found in the garage is uh, an old diesel or fuel funnel if you like and down here that's the old uh, spout that you would insert into your, your filling cap on your vehicle we're not going to be needing that so what I've done is to accommodate the width of the magnet I've cut with the grinder the bottom section of the funnel where you pour the fuel in um, and it's now as you can see pretty much the same diameter as the magnet itself so happy days on that now underneath what we've got is we have a, a double knot that we um, tied uh, to accommodate the double rope if you like coming in and on the the tail coming back on it I've left about ooh, about six seven inches to double wrap in tape insulating electrical tape which we have here uh, that basically ensures that um, the, the likelihood of the knot unraveling and untying during a pull out of the river is unlikely so good stuff on that now um, I'm gonna wrap some tape uh, around the top of the old funnel um, and basically this will act as uh, a brush off if you like so any obstacles as you're pulling the magnet out of the river that it may come across it's going to just basically brush off them and you know if you had a rock here for instance as you're pulling the magnet past it's just going to brush past it and hopefully bring that treasure home so Let's move on to um, basically getting the uh, the plastic part of the funnel that we've cut to accommodate the magnet. And uh, what we'll do is we'll secure that into place with some electrical insulation tape. Any old tape will do, as long as it's got good adhesion, good sticking properties to it to actually alleviate any water ingression, then we are looking good. So guys, I hope that you uh, enjoy the video and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to jump in the car and um, we're going to hit a river 